Every day has become a battle for one Cedar Park family trying to support their daughter, Sophia. We first told you about the Klein family in July. That's when the Social Security Administration told them the only way to get more financial help for their daughter is to get a divorce. They would do anything for their daughter, but divorce was not an option. Tonight, Hank Cavanero shows us how they're doing their best to take care of her every day. Yeah, we have to get big sister ready for school. Sophia has to take her medicines and then get her ready for a day while Cody gets ready for work. Every morning is busy in the Klein household. Bella, baby, you need to hurry up and get your backpack ready. Means getting food on the table for their oldest, Bella. I've been mixing it in hot water because it seems to mix better. And food in the bag for their youngest, Sophia. Before she went through a regression, she would eat anything. You put it in front of her, she would down it. She hit a regression and she wouldn't even make a sucking motion with her mouth. Sophia suffers from Rett syndrome, a rare genetic disorder that develops mostly in girls. While not a death sentence, it does require constant care. Bye, baby. Have a good day. So once the rest of the family leaves, Mama's got to put your iPod on, OK? All of the care falls on to mom. Because she's usually generally pretty stiff right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Along with getting herself ready, Jackie starts Sophia on her therapies. She's having a good morning so far. And when things are going well, Disney movies allow Jackie to get ready for the rest of their day. At the same time, Sophie's dad, Cody, is just getting to work. His boss lets him work a half day here, the rest from home. Everything has to be coordinated. Everything has to be scheduled. Come on, you can do it. Good job. Back at home, Sophia's starting to work on leg strength. You have to bend it, baby. It's hard work, but each step helps bring her back. Come on. I'll take these off. Before her regression, Sophia started to walk. Now each step is a chore. Thank you. I love you. And seeing the pain <sighs> in Sophia's face <sighs> can be hard. And as a parent, it's like you instantly feel like you failed that, you know, you did this to her whenever in reality, I know that there's absolutely no way that we could have given her this. You know, I would give anything if I could just take her place. I would happily not walk, not eat, not move if it gave her the option to do it. If only it were that easy. You ready to go see Miss Sarah? The only thing they can do is therapy. As long as she keeps working, we'll keep working. Occupational therapy is the first of three appointments today, but no matter what they're doing, the worst is always in Jackie's mind. What am I going to do if I wake up tomorrow and my daughter's not breathing? What's going to happen to my daughter if this disorder doesn't take her, but it takes me and my husband? Who's going to take care of her then? You don't want to think about that as a parent, but you have to. So you just do what you have to do to get through. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Our shoulders. Sarah nine, McQueen is two, Sophie's three, occupational therapist. Reach, reach, reach. There you go. She's working on range of motion and strength. Push. Good girl. Did you see that? Using tools and toys for Sophia to interact with. That looks good today. Reach. She has therapies every day except for Mondays and Fridays now. It gets to be very stressful for us because we know that she's in pain. We know that something's going on, but we don't know where it is. We don't know what kind of pain it is. Look at that pretty girl in the mirror. Rett syndrome is best shown through its yeah. symptoms. Whether it's the tremors of Parkinson's or the atrophied muscles of muscular dystrophy. You are looking at that yellow ball. I see you. It's ever right. so apparent. You did eight rocks. Good job. But every second of working keeps her progressing forward. All right. You got a busy day, girlfriend. Bye. On to the chiropractor. It's basically we're taking pressure off different nerves and also stimulating her muscles to where they can stay functioning and not atrophy or weaken. Dr. Barry even uses a special form of electronic acupuncture before helping mom de-stress. Mama's turn. The birds and the bees were there. Then back at the house. Do we want to play? Do we want to eat? Do we want to watch? 
It's speech therapy. While dad has started working from home. I have no taste. She uses she a machine called a Toby. It tracks her eyes and gives her an opportunity. Can you tell me what you want? To communicate. To eat. Yogurt. We can have some yogurt. She picked it up immediately. She blew us all away when we did the first trial with her. You want to do old McDonald? It's the first chance we get to really see her personality. Where's the pig? The sheep. <laughs> the sight of Sophia, so many miss. She can't communicate with us verbally, but cognitively she's 100% there and she is 100% diva three-year-old. Silly. Are you in a silly mood today? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. When she says, I feel silly, she immediately turns to you and makes her, like, silly, like, ha-ha face. I mean, I, I think the biggest asset to her success is her parent involvement. They are fierce advocates for her. Okay. But even these therapies aren't enough. Her parents are looking at other therapies. Insurance won't cover them. And the Social Security Administration says they make too much as a couple and could only help if the parents get divorced. Which is why Jackie leaves at two for her job. And if you ask her why she does this, she'll stop and tell you. The why is always the hardest thing because unless you're a parent, you don't really get the why. But once you become a parent, the why is not even a question because it's just automatic. It's instant. You do what you have to do to make sure your children have what they need. It's a sacrifice. It means taking a job that takes me away from my family. It means being exhausted 90% of the day. All of this isn't easy on anyone in the family. You really can't even imagine. So as Sophia rests, Cody keeps his eye on her. And I can hear it too. But his mind split on work. The days are not easy. You get a glimpse of what we go through. But it's not even a question why they keep fighting. Fighting for a cure. Fighting for Sophie. Let's get that hand up. Because this right here, oh. she is their why. We want a cure. With photojournalist Brian Bell. There is going to be a cure. I'm Hank Kevinero, KVU News.